dear Mary. It has been a while since the constables felt your collar and you were last in Wimbersham so I thought I would drop you a note after 190 years to update you on the current situation in West Norfolk. When you left the village it had a church and a pub, both of which you would still recognize after almost two centuries, although the roof burned off the church three years ago and they still have not been around to replace it, and my guess is they never will. Unfortunately fortunately they have never heard of you at the pub so you have regained anonymity again for sure in England. Or at least until you become a talking point at the Royal Photographic Society's April 16th East Anglia Documentary Group Exhibition at the Forum in Norwich. It would have been nice to have made this the 200th anniversary in 2033, but, rather like you, I fear Father Time might catch us out. In your time it was probably an agricultural village but I am guessing that you were probably not living there as your husband appears to be working as a labourer up in Boston, Lincolnshire, and given you got nicked for shoplifting, I very much doubt that occurred in the one-horse village you called home. I left Wimbetsham and crossed the Great Ease at Stowe Bridge before making my way up to Kings Lynn and to the court where you were sentenced to be transported. The very cell in which you were incarcerated at that trial exists today as part of the museum in the town. A colleague of mine has sent me some photographs of Hobart as it is today which I can compare with my eyes on assessment of the town which dates back to King John and before. Looking at the evidence before me, I can say you are without question in a better place. You can really freak me out by posting a comment below and rest assured that this is very PC, written by a man and voiced by a woman from somewhere in Seattle I think.